welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today the power is out so i apologize if the lighting's a little weird but the show must go on and i cannot believe it is already time for another pan those eyeshadows update so i'm going to be doing a one update at the beginning of the month and then i think i'm going to go ahead and try to do a finale at the end of the month here just so that i can give myself a little bit more time because i feel a little bit cheated stopping the project at the beginning of december but if you're interested in seeing what happened since the last update just keep on watching If you are new to this project, it was created by Alexi, and I will have her Pan Those Eyeshadows linked down below. I will also have my Pan Those Eyeshadows playlist linked down below. If you missed last time, it was a really exciting update for me, and everything was rolled out. So everything that I have here in front of me is new from last month, and I'll just go shade by shade, tell you a little bit about it. We're going to take our little intermission. I'll show you some looks, and then we will potentially be choosing some new shades. So let's get on into it. Since everything has been in the project for the same amount of time, I'm just going to go ahead and read them out in the order that I've written them in my little project pan notebook. And the first one that I have is the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions shade 8. I'll go ahead and give you a little glimpse of what it looked like last month. And as you can see, there was a little bit of wear in it, but it wasn't really close to hitting pan. But I feel like I have a much easier time hitting pan in matte shades than in shimmer shades because take a look at it. She may be small, but she is there. And I did use this shade 13 times to hit pan. So it was just a really nice, easy transition shade to throw in the crease, basically with every single look. If I wanted to use my pan those eyeshadow shades i just pop this in there so it's just pretty nice little brown shade second shade i was working with is the bad habit aphrodite palette this is a dupe of the huda beauty um what is it rose gold i think is what it's called anyway this palette was brand new i had never used it before i mean i've had it for years but i've never used it before so the shade was brand new i'll go ahead and show a little picture of it and now this is what it is looking like. She has got a nice little pan in there as well. If you are unfamiliar with the Bad Habit formula, it is very soft and a little powdery. And if I had used ABH formula, I'd be able to tell you whether it was similar to that. But just based on description, since I haven't used an ABH formula before, I feel like it's probably similar. But this one here was also a very nice um, color to use in the crease if I was going for a more rosy toned look. And I did use this one 10 times. So 10 times from brand new. So that kind of gives you an idea of how powdery and easy to hit pan these shades are. The third palette that I've been playing with this month for my Pan Those Eyeshadows is the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1. I had used this a bit last year when I first got it and then pretty much put it away and kind of forgot about it. I'll go ahead and show you what the shade looks like. I've been using the Soothe Metallic shade, so it's kind of like a coppery, bronzy, some kind of metallic brown really. But this is what it's looking like now. As you can see, there is no pan in that shade. I do have a bonus pan. It's not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but it's in this glitter here. So no pan in this one, but I did get a bonus pan over here. So this one will be staying in the project for the next few weeks until I do kind of do a refresh in the new year. Shade number four was another Huda Beauty palette. So I have two real Huda Beauty palettes and one fake Huda Beauty palette. So this is kind of a weird um, collection of palettes for me this time, but it is the Mauve Obsessions and I had shade number nine. So I'll go ahead and pop up on the screen what it looked like last month. And this is what this palette is looking like now. This palette is looking very loved as you can see. I had this white shade in the Thanksgiving project, and I had this in a previous round of the Pan Those Eyeshadows, but now I have hit Pan here in shade number nine. This one is very similar to the shade that I had from my Profusions Mauves palette. I think it was a one or two rounds ago, but I really liked that one better as far as formula than I did this one. This one was a bit more patchy, but it did take me 14 uses 
to hit pan on this shade. And the last palette that I was playing with for my pan those eyeshadows for this last month was the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette. I believe this is a um, smaller version of a large palette that has many of the same shades in it. This one I got in BoxyCharm eons ago and I'm glad that it was pulled into this project. I'll show you what it looked like last month. The shade that I was working on was called Prime Rose and here is what it's looking like now. I do have a much more difficult time hitting pan on shimmers than I do on mattes, so both of my shimmers are staying in the project. All of my mattes have rolled out, so that kind of makes it even more obvious which ones I have an easier time. I did go ahead and, um, sorry my little guy is excited to be in the video, I did go ahead and uh, swatch these two off camera because I had forgotten to do it, and then this one here is the Ace Beauté shade. So I do also work on one face palette as a part of this project, just kind of as like a bonus because I do want to be using my face palettes. I have a ton of them. I get them in subscription boxes and generally I forget to use them. So this time I have been using the Lovecraft Beauty. It's like a bronzer palette and I had pretty much used it just a couple of times before rolling it in. And this, it was the first shade. And this is what it is looking like this time. So it looks like there's definitely a lot of wear. You can see the shape of the pan underneath the product, but I am not quite there yet. I feel like a couple of more weeks and I would be there, but it's kind of slow going because now that I'm getting more fair and we're into the winter and I started out pretty fair as it was, I have to be a little bit more light-handed with the bronzer. So it is taking a little while, but I am enjoying getting some use out of this. I haven't really dipped into these ones too much. This one maybe a couple times, this one definitely not. So that is the recap on the shades that I was working on. I have three that are rolling out, three that are staying in. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the looks that I made this past month. Just go ahead and give you a warning. They are pretty much neutral, bronzy, and rosy looks, but I liked them. It was very appropriate for the um, season and I was enjoying these colors a lot. I just kind of, what I do is I show the palette and then I show the swatches on my hand of the colors that I used and then a little glimpse of me kind of I blink and look down and then I look up so you can see what it looks like in action and then after that we're going to come back and we will talk about what new palettes I'm going to be rolling in. some of those looks I know have probably felt kind of repetitive because I didn't have all that much variation in my color story here I mean I had that nice cranberry I had a rose two shimmery shades here so this is a really nice color story but there's not too much variety as far as looks that I can make with it but I did have fun with it and I really enjoyed it and I did hit pan in three shades so that means I get to roll in three new shades from my winter list because we are in December now which is part of why I want to go ahead and have another update at the end of the year, which will be the finale, because I've wanted to go ahead and give myself all the chances I can to play with my winter list. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shades that I chose. First palette that was rolled in is the Milani Soft and Sultry. I'm sure you probably are familiar with this one. It is 12 shades, it's very cool toned. I figured this was very appropriate for winter. The shade that was rolled in for me was shade 11. This is the top of the palette, so it goes across and up. And it is this very dark brown shade. So I am a little bit intimidated by trying to pan this shade, but regardless what happens, I'm going to be rolling things out and refreshing in the new year. So I'm gonna go ahead, give it a go. Oh my goodness, I'm swatching it here, and that is, that is dark. So I'm gonna just see what we can do with this. First shade is Milani Soft and Sultry Untamed. The second palette that is rolling into the project is one that has been in the project recently, and it was in a fall list, but I also thought of this as a very wintry palette because of all the cranberries. It is the Profusion Mobs palette, so this is what it is looking like right now. The shade that rolled in was, roll, was shade number one, Femme. So I got another shimmer shade, and it's this very pretty kind of pinky 
icy tone so I'm actually quite looking forward to that that's what that one looks like so it's quite different than the shimmers that I already have in and we are going to try to hit pan on that I highly doubt that I will because if you've been following me you probably have figured out that shimmers are much harder for me to hit pan on than mattes the final shade that was rolled into this project this time is the Beauty Pie Palette, the Perfect Warm Neutrals. I got this over the summer when I was still buying all the things in sight, and I've used it a little bit. So this is what it looks like now. There's a little bit of use on it. The shade that I had chosen for me was shade 9, and I'm counting it across. This is the top of the palette. as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I did get the brown sculpt shade. So I have... A matte so that makes me happy and it is just this very rich juicy chocolate brown matte so this is the color story that I have for the eyeshadows I'm gonna go ahead and add back in my face palette so we can see the full color story Here we go that is all of the colors swatched together we have three mattes three shimmers we have the two shimmers from last month we have a new shimmer here I'm a bit intimidated trying to play with such a dark brown but these two here are beautiful I have a feeling that this bronzer shade is going to show up as a transition shade in a lot of eyeshadow looks because I don't have anything else that would work that way in this color story but yeah I'm excited so we went from this here which is very very fall to this and I feel like we are getting more of a winter feel here I think these two did it for us my plan for pan those eyeshadows is coming up at the end of this month I'm gonna go ahead and do a finale maybe give myself a couple of days of not working on any pan those eyeshadows so that when I refresh in the brand new year everything's gonna be brand new I will pull all winter shades for the first round and I will go ahead and at that point we will discuss if I have any different like house rules that I'll be following at that time as always thank you so so much for joining me today i appreciate you all so very much i hope you are having happy holidays thank you so much for watching if you haven't already i would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and i hope i see you all in the next one